Like many countries in sub-Saharan Africa, Rwanda has suffered from widespread deforestation. This was mainly driven by the need of food, charcoal, timber, uh, mainly for commercial products. Deforestation in Rwanda led to extinction of a thousand species, degraded lands, heavy soil erosion and landslides. Rwanda set the ambitious target of bringing 2 million hectares of degraded and deforested land into restoration by 2020. Restored landscapes means economic opportunities. The promotion of ecotourism not only benefits the nation but also promotes rural development and the well-being of village people. Young people are the stewards of tomorrow. And with IUCN, we've been running these two campaigns. We do not want to renew the granted land and risk to restore, just to equip young people with the right knowledge and investment. My vision for the next decade is a poverty-free, clean and green Africa. I see myself as one of the African influential leaders who will mainly contribute to the eradication of hunger malnutrition and poverty through right investment in the agriculture sector and women empowerment. Rwanda has made great strides in restoring its degraded and deforested landscapes. Maintaining the momentum is vital. The future Rwanda that I see is the one that restores more than it consumes. In this movement of restoration, commitment is key. Just like COVID-19, land degradation and deforestation are global threats. When we do not learn from other countries' shortcomings, we are doomed to fail. Joining the Bond Challenge does not only give a nation access to technical support, but also a leverage of domestic programs to achieve global goals such as SDGs.